Hi, I'm attorney Jim Dodson. You know, it is not all that uncommon when someone does suffer a brain injury. Uh, you go to the doctor, the doctor has diagnosed that, you know, you're having motor function or speech function or memory or whatever the area of the brain that's been affected is showing up in your life. But the CT scan might have been normal. They might have run an MRI, which is normal. Or what does the doctor do to try to find and coordinate how to locate the injury? They can use what is known as a SPECT scan. This is a scan that's about as expensive as an MRI, but they produce a much more detailed uh, look of how the fluid or blood moves or accumulates within the brain. Uh, and what happens is that when they order a SPECT scan of the brain, areas of the brain that have been damaged will show up differently colored because damaged tissue doesn't have the same blood flow as healthy tissue. So it's going to look different on the SPECT scan. What the doctor then, he knows the area that you're complaining of in terms of your symptoms, what they call the clinical symptoms. They want to match up the loss of blood flow to that area of the brain that's been affected as confirmation or proof that that has been caused by damage to the neurons or brain tissue in that area of your brain.